All right, hello, sixth grade. I hope you guys enjoyed your three-day weekend. Um, my lesson will be uh, due tomorrow. So if some of you are already going through my lesson, that's fine. Um, again, the the due date will be tomorrow uh, by 8 p.m. So if you happen to finish uh, English and Math today, and if you want to have a head start, you can you know start on my assignments, and that way tomorrow you, you can be basically almost off. Okay. All right, so if you're starting to do it tomorrow, the channel will be right here, Unit 5, Lesson 7, April 14, the day that is due the lesson. Uh, once you're in this uh, channel, you go to Files. And you should have two files like this. One of them is uh, Focus in Sudan Main. That's the, the main PowerPoint presentation. And then Focus in Sudan and the notes. So again, if you can print them out, that way you can write down your notes, your responses, annotate the notes. Or if you can download them, you can type them. Or if you have like an, uh, some kind of iPad device where you can annotate on the text, that will be great. Uh, again, uh, please download the files. Uh, don't work it on, on, on there because if you do, uh, again, the, the next students are going to be confused. So again, just download the files. Otherwise, I'm going to have students get even confused and I have to reload the files. All right. Once you open up um, the PowerPoint, it should look something like this. Um, and let me edit this real quick again. So your do not question is another political cartoon. Make sure that you write, write your title objective on the part on the on the notes. So at the top right here. So on. So Title objective, write it down, and then answer this question. Okay, write two effects of European composition. Oh, sorry about that one. This is a long one. This is for your students one. Okay. Let me reopen that. The other one has been uh, changed. Um, so now you can, you can have the, the correct file. So your doing that question is to make three inferences from the political cartoon. You're going to be looking at this cartoon right here and again I want you guys to look for symbols um, symbols you can look at um, the words okay look at the uh, what the what stands out at the very front and also what's in the background so look at the what the main uh, what the artist is trying to depict the most apparent and then what's in the background okay take about five minutes for your do now and then I'll give you guys a break of this cartoon. So press pause and then press play when you're done. All right, so uh, for today's lesson, as you can see, um, focus on Sudan. This is where we had the book where we read um, A Long Walk to Water. Um, as you can see in this one, we see a lot of hands. Uh, they're in this just sign, okay? Trying to get the attention of this plane. It says help over two million killed in Sudan civil wars. So we discuss what the word civil war means. Remember, it's a conflict between uh, when a, a when a country is uh, having at least two groups fighting against each other. Um, so as you can see, this plane, you got to look at the symbols. There's a an American flag. So now we know that this is an American uh, a, sh a plane. So it says right there, keep going, wrong, wrong atrocity. Atrocity means um, like a, a tragedy, something that went uh, something went wrong. Okay, um, as you can see, he's holding a paper, and their destination is Syria. So right now, as the whole world focuses on Syria, and as we're focusing as well for um, our modern United Nations project, um, people tend to neglect that there's also other conflicts going on in Africa as well, and there's already been two million people killed in, in Sudan. Okay, um, and again, this is something as you can see at the bottom. If I'm correct, this is 9313. So this happened in 2013, about two years after the Syrian conflict. Um, it's still ongoing. Again, um, this is what we're going to be looking at today's lesson about um, why is there so much conflict in those countries, um, and we're going to see how this is actually applied to European colonization. Okay, all right, that concludes our do now.